It's Terrell Holloway, Walter Anderson, Greg Anderson, Willie Hill, late five, three flight waves, and we're underway. Walter Anderson just held up for a half a second, but Terrell Holloway's right back to the inside. They're neck and neck down the back straightaway with Greg Anderson right there in third. Holloway gets a little loose in the three, makes a little contact, but they keep it together and down the front right away they go. Greg Anderson. Position really Hill all the way up the racetrack, but he gathers it back as he runs in fourth. But now it's a brotherly battle out front. Greg Anderson fighting at the now to try and catch up with his brother Walter. Walter Anderson as Greg Anderson's gaining on him inch by inch, little by little. Greg Anderson peaks to the inside, has a lane. Walter's not going to put up. Much of a fight until we get into turn number three where he slams the door right back on him. But Greg still got inside position. He comes around and takes the lead. Don't laugh at the lead. As the one turns away next time, Greg Anderson out front by now. Two car lengths over Walter Anderson. Terrell Holloway's right back in this thing. They touch it. Turn number three. Terrell Holloway keeps the inside. Now Greg Anderson and Terrell Holloway one and two as they go down the back right away on the final out of this race. But it's all Greg Anderson in the three and out of four. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Here is number one winner, Greg Anderson. Delaney McLeod, Delaney McLeod, your name is the distance. Tony Cooper, Frank Aldridge, lead us to green. This one's going to be a dandy. White man looks them down, says they're good to go. Throws the green, and we're underway. They're neck and neck in the turn one. Frank Aldridge has a little bit of an advantage over Tony Coker, who gives White and falls back into second place. Looking for the black bag. Blake Roar making some moves, pulling up with the third place man, Brian Evans. making the hard left-hand turn. Out on the track, it's Brian Evans taking away second from Frank Aldridge. Blake Roar just casually riding back behind him in four. And now as he leads this thing by about two car lengths over Brian Evans. White flag will be displayed to the leader next time by... make any mistakes into turn number three. Looks smooth sailing so far. And just as smooth out of four as the chicken flag waves for the number three. Finishing second is Brian Evans, third Frank Aldridge. Fourth will be... Gorman. 
moving one still stopped. Oh, he's moving. Blake Roark in the 22 is moving. No push needed. So we're going to get him lined up and back ready to go. Inside outside choose option here. 22 of Blake Roark has to fall all the way back to the rear. He was the caution. drivers to stay just like that. We're going to come around and get one to go with the line this time. Flagman holds one stick in the air. That means we're going to racing off a of turn number four next time. Ladies and gentlemen, who's riding with that 157 of Greg Anderson here tonight? Terrell Holloway fans in the house. I know Walter Anderson's right there with him. This one's going to get good before it gets done. We're going green off of turn number four. Buckle down, pick your driver. Hope they pull it out for you here tonight. Be ready for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Controls the restart here. Everybody doubled up behind him. Twenty-two of Blake Roark off the pace down the front straightaway, and the yellow light will beam down on Tumper Speedway once again. the hard left hand turn to come in for his pit. They got tires in hand. Looks like they're going to try and change one. The right rear looks to be down on that machine, so they're going to get to work real quick like. Never mind their right rear was not down, so Roar's going to head right back on the track. Hold the 22 and let him fall in behind the rest of the field here. This is the one flag salute held high in the sky, signifying one to go to green this time by.
Anderson controls the restart. The rest behind him cannot fire until he does. If they do, it'll be up to the black man's discretion. This one's about to get good, ladies and gentlemen. Stock V8 feature race. We've got one left in the books. We're on the lane two. Terrence Harrell doing battle for second. Ryan Wynn fighting with the 43 of Tony Coker back there for fourth. And Walter seems to have the position on the outside. They both jump to the inside trying to get around Craig. Nothing more for Coker. He's inside. And the caution flies for a spin in three and four with Brian Evans and Frank Aldridge both kissing down here for number four. Choose rule option for these drivers. Looks like they've got it sorted out finally. Walter Anderson has elected to go to the outside here on this restart of Zero Holloway. Putting the second place man outside second row. But once again, it's Greg Anderson who controls the restart. He will do so in turn four whenever he feels suit. We'll see when he fires. He meshes the loud pedal. The rest follow the rear. And they all keep her going in the right direction. A bunch of skilled veteran drivers here doing battle up front. Terrell Holloway, Walter Anderson. This one's about to get good, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Anderson controls restart with Ryan Wynn. Ryan breathing down his backside. Something's got to give. Something's going to get green. Flag, flag. Ryan even stuck up on the high side, getting passed by a couple of cars. There goes Blake Roark around him. Further back, Frank Aldridge gets a run past the one who spins down the back straight away in the caution flies. Let's get a push to the back straightaway. Let's get a push vehicle to the back straightaway, please. A heck of a stock V8 main event so far here. Three laps in the books. We got to get some laps in if we want to go the full distance here tonight. We need these drivers to go off right and have a good race the rest of the way. Greg Anderson controls restart in four. When will Anderson fire? Only he knows. He stops the lap. Anderson pushing Brian Evans around the eight of Ryan Owen. Anderson back into third. Biding his time back there is Terrell Holloway riding back behind. Whoa, Brian Anderson. Behind the but there's a spin in cars. Blake Roark was trying to avoid all that mess and took it down into the deep stuff right there beside the guardrail. We're going to need a push or a pull or an your leader remains to be Greg Anderson in the 157. Does anybody have anything for him? We're about to find out. Replay flies and we're back. We make it through turn one clean. Let's see about turn number two. It's Ryan Lynn looks to be inside of Brian Evans. Nothing doing for him. Evans clears him down the back straight away. 
We're single filed out in turn number three. Eleven of Frank Aldrich is off the pace on the back straightaway. Let's go ahead and get a push truck to the back straightaway. Go ahead and get a push started to the back straightaway. Let's go. Time has run out. When we get back going, it's green, white, checkered. When we get back going, it's green, white, checkered. Time has expired on this race. to the cars on the track. We're going green-white checkered, ladies and gentlemen. Two laps the distance. Leader controls the restarting. Following Greg Anderson, Walter right behind him. Brian Evans riding third. Ryan Wynn fourth. Tony Cooker fifth. Terrell Holloway sixth. And seventh on the track is Blake Roark. We're going to green, go green off of four. If Walter's got anything for Terrell, he's got two laps to show it. Walter's got anything for Greg. Bye, man. Greg. <laughs> Terrell Holloway working down Tony Cooper. Tony Cooper not giving him any room. Up front is all Greg Anderson as he leads this thing to the white flag. Walter Anderson needs to pull out. It's all Greg into turn number three. Walter drives it in hard, but it's all Greg Anderson down the front straight away. Right Taking the shot. Walter Anderson comes up second. Brian Evans third. Ryan Wynn fourth. Tony Coker fifth. And then it'll go to Terrell Holloway sixth. And Blake Roark seventh.